Ciao, ciao, FMers. It's me, FM Cheetah. You can call me Matt, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Footy Modern Warfare. I can't stop saying it like this. Yeah, anyway. Yes, two games today. Firstly, away to Perugia. If you look to your mm, left, you'll know. <laughs> no, wait. Top right. Top right. Took me a second. Mm, Matt, smart. You'll see Perugia second in the table on 19 points. Well behind runaway league leaders. But on our, look a few steps further down. There we are in fifth position on 17 points. There's a few of us on 17 points. But we're one of them. Was I worried after those two losses? Not at all. Yeah, I was worried a little bit. So, since those two losses to Brescia and Barona, we picked up a nil-nil at home to Alessandria. I was worried. Then a sneaky one-nil home win to Ascoli. A 2-1 away win to Monza. Moneyed up Monza. And a 5-1 shellacking of Cosenza. And then a 1-1 draw to Empoli, away, nice. And then a 1-0 home win to Virtus Verona. So 14 out of 18 points across six games, a good result. And today, yes, away to Perugia, and then home to 15 plates, Pordenone. I should be picking up three points there. Away to Perugia, I don't know. If we do win though, we will leap them in the table. So we've managed to start scoring. Roberto Ogensei has really been the leader there, but he's been ably assisted by Tulisi and Deli and Imolada. They've all been contributing to the goals. Form-wise, it's some of the original players. As I said, Deli, Renzetti, Ogensei, Silvestri, Tremolada. They've been up there, but Plizzari hasn't been doing too badly, nor has Denzel Hall. He's come in quite a few times at right back uh, and, and done the job. Anyway, I promise shorter episodes. Let's get on with it. Here we are. Team tactics. Yes, we want to take opposition instructions. Well, apparently, they're telling us to go positive. Okay, we will go positive. So the formation hasn't changed. However, some of the direction has changed. For instance, our fullbacks, when we go away, they don't go forward. So Chofani and Hendricks are on fullback automatic. And our inside forwards, in this case, Bermeo and Tulisi as an inside, uh, inside winger, inside winger, inverted winger, thank you very much. They're also on support. Giovannini comes on when we go away to go fast ahead early to try and score goals. He hasn't been scoring that many goals, but you can certainly see when watching the highlights, those moves are happening. He's getting ahead of the defence just not quite finishing. We'll have a little bit in steer with uh, Jelly as the ball winning midfielder on support, but we are playing Delhi as a Metsala, so eh, the midfield's a little light on for me. I might have, I'm a little concerned. We'll see how we go. We do have Castiglia on the bench who can come in as a sort of deep lying, defensive deep lying playmaker role to maybe add a bit of steel. Uh, and look, if we, if this sort of formation uh, if we take on too much pressure, if we start conceding too many shots, we can start pushing the fullbacks forward. Okay, so we are in the tunnel. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go, you're on a good run. Eh, that wasn't too much. It wasn't all that good, was it? Anyway, we apply the faith healing, which sorts that out. And we have kickoff. So can we score against Perugia. I, w I mean, what would I like? A draw, obviously. A draw away to Perugia would be nice. Let's see how it goes. I do notice now that they are playing through at the back. What we have done is when playing through at the back, we've, we've then moved to uh, the, that narrow two at the front formation. That does seem to have worked. But anyway, highlight, Baroni on the ball, goes all the way back to Plizari. Moving the ball around nicely. Hendricks. Bermejo. Oh, goes long to Giovannini. This is what I'm talking about. And that's also what I'm talking about. The fairly average finishing of Giovannini. Oh, well, the move was right. Okay, 20 minutes in. Let's give him a bit of encouragement. You know, while we're away, I like, I've noticed, I think, that when we're away and we encourage, uh, we get better results than when we're at home. When we're at home, we need to kind of, you know, demand more. That, Seems to be the theme there. Anyway, oh, Giovanni is back on the ball. He's coming for. He's going out wide. Who's he going to release? Bermejo. Bermejo, not so good, Bermejo. So far. I mean, not terrible, just not great. Delhi, on the other hand, back to his usual great form. Baroni. 
Hendrix. This always makes me know. Tremolada. Tremolada having a nice season two. All the way out to Chofani. Chofani releases Tulisi. No, back and forth. Here we go, Tulisi. Back to... Oh, no, it's Jolly. Goes long to Delhi. I think you're... You know, oh, no, it releases Tulisi. Ah, oh, Tulisi scores. Beau... Ah, oh, yeah. I must wonder, was it offside? I think it might be. It did look a little offside. Oh, no, that means it wasn't offside, doesn't it? When we go... That's strange. We went straight to 3D then. Is that, that's right, the goal has stood. Yeah, okay. Fine. All right, 1-0 up after 30 minutes away to Perugia. Oh, let's just have a look there. Bam. Oh, no. He's good. Well onside. Thank you, Tulisi. All right, the last five minutes. Oh, Scrub fires it in, and it's in. Who was that? It was Jurado. Jurado puts it in off a Scrub corner. We'll have a look at this in 3D. But a lot of that kind of just ball dribbling over the line sort of things. Gets his header on it. Uh, the That's not the keeper, is it? Who's that? It's Chofani at the, uh, at the uh, far post, or one of the posts, uh, trying to put it out. Looked like he was doing a bit of goalkeeping there. Anyway, Tremolata, Chofani releases to Lisi, but no, nothing. All right, two minutes of injury time. We do have a corner. Oh, come on. Come on, hit it home. You know you <laughs> That was that sort of thing, that kind of thing where the ball just hovers around the line and in this case doesn't go in. Anyway, it's half time. We're going to go into the dressing room 1 1. Uh, we've done well so far. I think we have, and I think we're going to say you've defended well. Ah, uh, that just fell over, didn't it? All right, when that happens, I like to move on. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, so Chafani not having the best of games, uh, and that would have been that clearance or that missed clearance. Uh, I, I think I'll leave him there at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Although I tend to notice with defenders, once they kind of start poor, it often gets worse. But we've got Denzel Hall there if we need to. Everyone else is kind of all right. We will, I think, just ask the assistant to redress opposition tactics. And I think we'll just get back out there for now. Chofani hasn't had a lot of game time, so we may have to sub him out for Hall. Yes, and look, as we approach 60 minutes, Chofani is on a 6-4, so I am going to bring Hall on. Uh, also, Silvestri is on a 6-5. Oh, wow, wow. so Jolie's on a 6-5 I might, mm, I might leave Silvestri. I think I will change Jolie out, though, and I think I'll change him out. Ooh, here's the question. Do I change him out for sort of a deeper line, more defensive role, which he's not having much luck with, well, but Jolie's not having much with, or do I bring on like Armelino to be a bit more box to box? You can see, look, I haven't <laughs> I've already made my decision. There you go. I'm going box to box with Armelino. Why not? Why not? Let's pump the fist. Let's say we have faith. Go out there. Make a difference. All that. We have seven shots uh, with three on target versus eight, versus, uh, eight to three via Perugia. So, you know, it's not bad. And again, so far... So good, we're on a draw. Now, of course, at 75 minutes, I said all that, and suddenly their shots have gone through the roof. Now, Bermejo and Tremolada are both getting a little tired, but Bermejo is the weaker of the two. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring on Politic. How's Tulisi? Tulisi's all right. And we're going to turn uh, those inside forwards inverted wingers into attacking roles, I think. Let's pump the fists make a difference. Now, the only thing I didn't check was, are we pressing? We are. Good. All right. Let's keep doing that. I am going to bounce back to balance, though. Wow. The shot, their shots have just gone through. There is 17 shots, seven on target. Oh, what? But Delhi with a corner fires it in. Oh, Baroni puts his hand on it, but it goes wide, unfortunately. All right. Only minutes to go of normal time. Our wow, whole four minutes of injury time. So we're going to go our usual slow everything down and playing for set pieces for the last few. Oh, wow. Am I going to get that? Liotti shoots oh, just wide of the post. Blitzardi did not move there. Rooted to the spot. He was. That's it. One more minute of injury time. And we get a 1-1 one, one draw. Fairly? I don't know. We had almost... We had, what, 45% of our shots were on target, whereas, uh, you know, something like, what, 40% of Perugia's were on target, something like that. They're actually 2.37, ours 1.68. So I guess 
they will feel you know disappointed that they couldn't get the win and I will uh, I will cry myself to sleep tonight about that anyway very satisfying result nobody gives us a chance uh, so with that we hold our spot in fifth place uh, we uh, Spal have had their game did they win or did they have a draw I didn't notice before they had a spanking draw over Verona so they've shot up uh, to sixth place Empoli Empoli 1-1 draw with uh, Cittadella and you can see obviously Perugia in third uh, Crotone looks like what happened there with Crotone yes a 2-0 away win of a Pordenone that org as well I think so yeah all right we're on 18 points we're in fifth place we know what the expectations were this season we have to survive right now I believe this is well I believe this is a player position again I'm not too fussed about it it sounds like I'm protesting too much but it's good I mean I think what I like is we have played I mean yes we had those two no not awful losses to Verona and was it Brescia well though Brescia are now in 10th so maybe that was a poor loss uh, and we've just managed to get a 1-1 away draw to Perugia so look we're doing well we're doing well if we stay another season in City Bay that'd be fine by me anyway let's get to that home game to Prodenone all right, and we are back for the second game at home to Pordenone. This looks like a solid three points, but you never know. Pordenone down in 15th on nine points. We are in fifth on 18. We want, we need three points. So opposition instructions. Now we are, I believe, still on positive at the moment from the last game. I didn't change that back, so let's check that out. So a few changes for this game. In the fullback positions, Renzetti and Magioni in attacking fullback role, so they will be overlapping. Getsy as a winger on support, and Politic as an inside forward on support, with Ogunse reassuming his place at the top in his uh, target, uh, in his uh, sort of target forward role. I've then brought on Castiglia and Coventry for this game. Uh, Castiglia for a bit of steel. Coventry because we need to give him game time. Uh, he's a good player. He's certainly got, when you look at his potential compared to the rest of the team, uh, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, so we'll see how the end of the season goes. Tremolata stays and of course Baroni, Silvestri and Polizzari continue in their positions. All right, dressing room time. I think we show everyone that the recent praise is justified. Cool. I've noticed that option changes quite a bit. Uh, same with, you know, faith versus trust. That's good. Nice. So we'll stay in positive to begin with. I th we'll see how they go. I mean, I think we could potentially move to attacking, but obviously that'll depend on how Pordenone go, how their performance is. Can they fashion any attempts on goal? Here we go. First, I'll let Renzetti long throw. Ogden save back, but Coventry collects. Get to Renzetti. Castiglia. Renzetti, Renzetti back to Castiglia. They're moving the ball, trying to fashion out something. Oh, Coventry, he's going to shoot. You know he is. It's soft and it's wide from Coventry there. That's a shame. All right, as we cross 20 minutes, let's try this. Let's try the demand more. Let's have a look at my theory. A little bit of a response. Uh, again, that theory being that, you know, when you're at home, encouraging, uh, you know, against weaker opposition uh, doesn't get you the result, whereas demanding more does. Uh, so three shots, two on target. You know what? Let's go attacking for these last 10 minutes. Let's see. I'll try and encourage. Eh, theory could be wrong, hey? <laughs> okay, just a one minute of injury time. Yeah, fairly lackluster first half. Five shots, only two on target. But I don't only have had two shots, one on target. In percentage terms, they're looking better than us. So I think we're going to say... Mm, we're going to say... Yeah, I'm proud. Keep going. That didn't work. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Because if I overwork that angle, if they don't think they were that good, they're going to get a bit busy about it, aren't they? So, yeah, Roberto not having a great game at the top there. Politic and uh, Getsy the same. How often? That is so often the case. But only on a 6-5 too. And Renzetti not so great either. Mm, just a bit average overall, isn't it? So I think what we'll do is we'll just redress the opposition tactics. I think we'll just get back out there for now. Let's just get back out there, see what happens. You know, I mean, they're fashioning some chances, not a lot, but you know, let's see how we go. All right, ah, oh, Canjano. Oh, wow, that was almost a goal. Tremolata's on the ball, though. Oh, I can say he's on it. He's on it. What's he hold it up? Roberto, hold it up. Hold it. What are you doing? What? Anyway, all right, so that was very strange. Uh, okay, so obviously Roberto is having a pretty ordinary game. So he'll come off. 
and we're going to bring on Giovannini, which means a change of tactics. So we will go early crosses, low early crosses. Uh, and we need, you know, it's just really ordinary everywhere, isn't it? Really ordinary, particularly out in the wings. Wow, okay, so Bermejo and Talisa coming on. We're, wow, we're doing all three at once. Yeah, let's do it, 60 minutes in. Pump the fist, do it. All right, 70 minutes now, still not a lot of change. Let's move up a little bit. Let's put a bit of pressure on them. Let's also go very attacking. Come on, we don't want a point out of this. We want three points. Here we go. Dulcia, Tulisi's on it, but no one can find it. Manio, Damani, oh no. Misracha shoots and goes over, so. Let's get Tremolada on attacking. Actually, let's just get everyone going for it. Uh, we will put, uh, oh no, actually we won't do that because Talisi doesn't like to shoot, but we will put him as an attacking inverted winger. Mm, yeah, I think I think that will do, that will do. And we'll give him a shout, demand more. Come on, come on, demand more. We need this goal. Just the one goal, that's all I need. Tremolada looking very tired. Oh, we inch towards 90 minutes and with just two minutes of injury time. Wow, we're, we're go it's going to be a nil-nil draw. A nil-nil home draw, wow. Okay, draw central here this episode. Let's get in the dressing room. I am going to have a little go at them. I have to sympathize with you. No, I'm disappointed. We should have won that match. We should have. We should have won that match. But how often is that the case? You know, you get some surprise result in a tougher game and then you just can't muster up the result you should get for the easier ones. So that means we dropped down to seventh on 19 points. Yeah, okay. I mean, when you when you look at that top of the table now, Verona, Crotone, Empoli, Spa, Perugia, Brescia, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, they're the big teams. So to see us, I guess, at seventh, and Pescara too, to be honest, that's that's pretty good. Monza probably um, not performing particularly well, and you'd have to say Et, uh, Lecce as well, uh, maybe not up for it. Venezia are struggling. I think that's a surprise. Uh, right now they're down in the relegation zone, but there's plenty of time to go yet. So I think overall things are looking good. I mean, I think you look at this and you think there's hope for the future. The one thing I do have concerns with is my staff. Now, uh, I'm not sure whether you can make this out of all my big heads in the way. Hang on. Whoa, wow, that's better. Okay, so, uh, so we, now you're over there. Wait, anyway. Uh, so, I mean, it's not terrible, it's just not great. Now, the under 23s and under 18 coaching is a horror show. I mean, you know, the average, you know, attribute is like four or five or six. I would have thought in SETI Bear we could attract a better quality coach. But believe me, I've tried. We haven't been able to do it. Maybe next season, maybe. And we need to do something about this. If we look at like the bulk of that coaching staff right now, so there's what, five coaches, five standard coaches there. I mean, you've got uh, Beralta here. Yeah, he's got some qualities, but look, Scalisi, 10 for the City B team. I mean, I don't know, that seems a bit average. Our goalkeeper, yeah, I mean, 14s, 15s. I'm the best, of course. M my assistant manager is pretty average. Yeah, I'd like to see some improvement. We've got David Platt, right? Platt is here, by the way. He's one of the stars, although I tell you what, he can't manage anyone to save his life. But yeah, downstairs. Here it is, look at this. So I'm pretty sure I brought in Rossi and, uh, and uh, Tedesco myself. Oh, and Pia Coco. So you'll notice they're probably, well, not probably, they're easily the best coaches there. Everyone else, I mean, our fitness coach has six fitness. Look at this. And this is a club with, with bags and bags of, of potential facilities, under 18s. Yeah, yeah, much the same. I mean, how are we going to be producing and, and developing young talent with this. I don't know. This is certainly going to be a focus for me, if not before the end of this season, certainly next season. This needs to improve big time. And maybe a season in City B will help that. Who knows? Anyway, let's talk next fixtures. Oh, look, I've just remembered that we've got the Qatar World Cup, don't we? Yes, we do. So everything finishes around uh, November and then comes back in December. And I guess we don't get a, it's so weird, no winter break in Italy because of that? Well, I guess so. Mm. All right, well, let's have a short turnaround then, come back for the la the only two games in November. There is a little break there, but that's okay. You won't notice. Uh, Cortone in second and Frosinone in ninth. You know, 
let's see how we go there. I imagine we'll probably get a draw to Crotone and then a draw to Frosinone. <laughs> but anyway, two home games. That'll be fun. Only a few games in, uh, in between there. Venezia, Pescara, important game, Pescara and Regina. So it'll be a fairly prompt turnaround. And then we'll have the World Cup. Uh, and maybe we come back in February for uh, Monza, Cosenza or something like that, or Ascoli Monza. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to drop a like down below. If you have liked what you saw, I hope you have. And don't forget to subscribe. Just ring the bell to be notified about all the episodes coming. There's not just this series. There's another series here on the channel. I say mysteriously because I don't know what it is because <laughs> it's in the future. Anyway, you'll know what it is. Check that out. It's a bit of fun once, twice a week in the top flight somewhere in the world. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, watch that. Just, you know, and, and follow on Twitter too, because we'll get updates for that season, that series throughout, you know, the week in between those episodes. Okay. That'll do for today, I, I think. Thank you again. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Ciao, ragazzi.